Hey Rob, you must have had a great uh, day yesterday. It was a pretty good day for you on that river, considering what happened last year and you had to borrow my clothes. And the decision, perhaps you need to talk about the decision of why they didn't run the river down. Yeah, I think um, it's one of those times when common sense prevailed and there was a bit of talk amongst some of the more experienced racers. We were looking at hypothermic conditions there, no problem at all. If somebody got stuck up there for any length of time, there, were, there was the potential for a disaster. So I think it was totally the correct call. But interestingly, we, when they put the question out, they asked, um, hands up everybody who wa doesn't want to race it. And there was a lot of hands went up. So then they said, how many hands up everyone who wants to race it? A few hands went up and all the rest of the guys said, well, bugger off then, go and race it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was probably a pretty good call, to be quite honest. But today's going to be an interesting day. I mean, we've got a pretty low river out here, somewhere between 15 and 20 cumex. Would you perhaps like, because your experience, what's this river really going to be like today, between the morning and afternoon? Oh, it'll be a challenge, make no bones about it, because it's got its own unique characteristics. We're going to race into that morning sky over there, this straight into it, sun on the water, so that in itself sets you up for a lot of concentration, but there's a tsunami coming down this river, we all know that, it's 180 cubes up the river, and about, as you say, 20 odd down here, so that's going to bring a, a wave of garbage and so on, pressure waves, it's a very contained river, so it gets very angry very quickly.